ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we finished up the rest of uh, the Stone Tower Temple. And this episode, we're going to head off to the boss. And as you can see, I went ahead and I flipped the uh, world upside down again because you will have to do that in order to uh, fight the uh, final boss. And as you can see, yeah, that's another example there. I forgot to notice the moon. That was the mean moon that was up there is now right there. So that's another thing to notice. So anyway, I would recommend going ahead and uh, if you haven't by going to uh, the milk bar at 10 o'clock at night on any night and buying the uh, Chateau Romani, and I will show you why that is in just a moment as soon as we get to the uh, boss area. So. Anyway, go ahead and shoot up here, like normal, and go ahead and head back to this door. Well, okay, I'll, I'll just say, either buying Chateau Romani or um, going ahead and buy, uh, filling up at least about half, maybe more, depending on how good you do in here of uh, green uh, potion for your magic. So, one of those two things will work. But I, I highly recommend Chateau Romani so you can have your other bottles for fairies. So, that's my recommendation for you, anyways. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot across here. So, go ahead and jump. Not there. Down. There we go. And open the door. And as you can see, this is the room where we fought the Garrow Master and got the uh, light arrow from. So, anyway, let's go ahead and fall down this little castle here. Giant Mass Insect Twin Mold. Okay, and this is going to be why I'm going to show you here in a second. Number one, this is why uh, we can't use the uh, Giant's Mask in any room, but in a... I don't know if it's any boss or just this one, but you have to wear it here. And of course, as you can see our magic is going down as we're wearing this so that is why i recommended buying uh chateau romani did he drink it while he's big no let's go ahead and get small first go ahead and drink it because that milk will make your magic meter blue which in turn will give you infinite magic so that is why i recommend going ahead and doing that so Said that was my recommendation. Anyway, basically what you want to do, this is kind of like the uh, boss if you played uh, uh, Link to the Past. This is kind of like the uh, boss in the uh, second dungeon in the Light World on the Link to the Past. Except where there's only two of these and they're gigantic. But they keep coming out of the ground just like the uh, that guy did. So that's why this kind of reminds me pretty much of uh, that in a way. I'm trying to make sure I don't, because if you go too far out of the arena, it will uh, take you to the beginning over there and where that little patch is. And uh, I don't know if you have to start the battle over from the beginning, but it will take you back over there. So. I recommend trying to stay as close to the center of the uh, fighting arena as you can while you're doing this. So, but anyway, one. Like I said, that, ma that Chateau Romani will make you have to the magic, so. Uh, some people may call it cheating, but I don't really call it that because. And they give you this thing in the game, so... <laughs> I mean, I could be cheating if they didn't use cheat codes, that's why I see it. 
I mean, some people may just decide just to fight him with uh, magic, which if you want to, just go on ahead, be my guest. I just uh, prefer to do it this way, so. Come on. Yeah, he can be kind of hard because his only weak points, like I said, are his head and his tail, so. Actually, I don't know if I did say that. <laughs> but. That's pretty much what you're going to have to do. Take off the mask. All right, let's go ahead and pick up this heart container and pick up the remains themselves. You see, Twin Mold's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mass had kept in prison within the body of the evil Twin Mold. being told we understand so now you'll help us out in exchange we'll call you from atop the clock tower so do something about him all right what their voices sound sad you don't want to friend what do you mean by forgive huh what friend Okay, so there we go. We've uh, fixed the uh, this area, <laughs> the um, stone tower area, Cannon Canyon, whatever. So let's go ahead and go into here. This is where we gotta turn in all those fairies that took me forever to find. fairy of kindness great fairy of kindness thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal as thanks I grant you the fairy sword you got the great fairy sword set it to sea to use it with black roses etched into it the great fairy sword is the most powerful of all blades So yeah, we have a new item now. It is the Great Fairy Sword. So that almost fills up our thing. The uh, last item we could have got a long time ago, but I'll just get it in the uh, last area. So, But anyway, I'm going to show off this uh, Great Fairy Sword. 
So just go ahead and clip it. Oops, sorry. You have to use the C button to use it. You can also do, uh, actually, can you? Well, you can do spin attacks, but you have to. Yeah, you have to spin the uh, thing around, the stick around to do it. So this one, you have to use the, uh, the quick, uh, the quick thing. Which I'm not very good at, as you can see. <laughs> but it is the most powerful sword of all of them, so. It's kind of like the bigger on the sword. You have to uh, hold it with two hands, so you can't use your seal loops with it. But if you use your seal, try to use your seal with it, then it'll just bend down. So, anyway. That's it. So next time we're going to get the uh, final two um, heart pieces in the game. And uh, then after that, we're going to go to the very final area of the game. So thank you for watching, everybody. And have a great day.